our OP players of week four are. In the top lane, it is going to be Team Solo Mids, Dyrus, with a 35 KDA. He managed to end the week without dying. And then in their game against Evil Geniuses, he carried Team Solo Mid on his back when Bjergsen had an off game. And our OP jungler for the week is Dignitas Crumbs, the shot caller. Mm -hmm. You know, he's really been able to focus the teams. And he's also been the focus of the bands yep. from their opponents. But he's been able to show off his deep champion yep. pool. Going with three different champions in three different games, he ends the week going 7, 10, and 20. And we see and we have Link proving that man in the mid lane is just like riding a bike. Or manning the mid lane, I should say. He had a strong first game back and going 8, 1, and 6 on the Blanc. Not too shabby. OP as AD Carry is the birthday boy, Wild Turtle. He helped Dyrus in their first game of the week against Evil Geniuses with his Sivir ultimates and then dominated the bot lane today against Curse. And our final OP player was Cloud9's Lemonation. He helped his team with his roaming game and gave his team a head start in the team fights with his clean initiations. He did this all without dying this week. The player who has broken away from the pack to be this week's MVP is Meteos. Meteos has been making great plays and carrying Cloud9 in their two games this week as Lee Sin. He had an 86% kill participation, including securing uh, and assisting in both First Bloods. Shows you can help your team even if you have to live on the enemy's side of the map. <laughs> to give you an idea, he took 16 buffs, two coasts only six buffs in that game. Gush, how do you even play when you don't have those buffs? You should actually just try to play a game without getting buffs so you can play against Meteos. Definitely a less colorful game. It's like, this is how you play against Meteos. We don't have any buffs, guys. Another week of LCS action comes to a close, so let's take a look at the standings now. In first place, it's Team Solo Mid with nine wins and only one loss. Then in second, we have Lemon Nation and Cloud9. Holding it in third is Dignitas, six wins. Mm -hmm. Then in fourth, we have Dexter and Counter Logic Gaming with an even five and five, and Kurtz. Kurtz sits in fifth place with four wins. And in sixth place, it's the tie between Evil Geniuses mm -hmm. and XDG. Then sitting in last is Coast, of course, with those two wins and eight losses. Indeed, the action returns Thursday with the EU LCS as SK Gaming faces off against Fnatic. Then the fourth place, Copenhagen Wolves take on the fourth place, Super Hot Crew. Then the NALCS kicks off Saturday, February 15th, with Counter Logic Gaming facing off against Cloud9. Then after that, Evil Geniuses will take on Curse, followed by Coast versus XDG Gaming. And then in our fourth match, Team Solo Mid will battle it out with Team Dignitas. And in the NA Challenger Series Sunday, we'll get our first spring finals with a best of three showdown between LMQ and the winner of tonight's game between Determined and Cognitive Gaming. And a quick reminder, tickets are still available to attend the Challenger Series finals following our LCS show here in the studio on February 16th. Then, on February 22nd and 23rd, we will play host to the North American Collegiate Championship. As usual, you can head over to LO Esports for all the details. Just click on the tickets link. Now let's